And we're back with more Blade Runner, and we were about to be verbally accosted by Crystal Steel. You take a look at this crime scene? Yeah, it's a real doozy, Slim. Worse than watching Guza eat. Make sure you skip a meal before you go up. What? Wait, come back! Is that all I get to... Whatever. Oh, wow. Holy cow. You friendly with Eisendeller? Most of the employees they see coming in morning and night, but old Marcus, I mean, uh, Dr. Eisendeller, he almost never left his lab. He afraid of somebody? I think it had something to do with the air outside and the germs. The I dimes. once heard him complain about it. Smart. What was his job? Grav test chief engineer. The lab runs tests to see how a replicant would perform in different planetary gravitational fields. That kind of thing. One of the other engineers could tell you more. Do you know anything about Tyrell's computer system? Security is tight as a drum, if that's what you're asking. Somebody oh, yeah. tried to access restricted data from so the tight, I got in the Dr. Info. Eisendeller's office. But they couldn't get in. Yeah. Looks like Dr. Tyrell keeps his files safer than he keeps his employees. Bum bum bum. How do I get in to see the big boss? You don't, unless he wants to see you. Okay. How do I make him want to see me? Well, you could call his personal assistant. Who is? Don't know, offhand. Yeah, wow. I get the picture. Helpful, buddy. You know if anyone lost an earring like this one lately? Not one of the employees, that's for sure. The boss enforces a strict dress code around here. How did Eisendeller's moo moo fit in? <laughs> hey, you know, company rules only apply to the lesser mortals. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. All right, well, that's it for crime scene investigation. Let's save. And head out. I kind of would have liked to have talked to Crystal a little bit more, but... Apparently she only had so much. Let's see, Animoid Row. Monsters, Chinatown. McCoys. Uh, you know what, let's go to the police station because we've got that data disk that we can run the pictures on. Plus maybe we can run into Crystal again, who knows. Mainframe and shooting range. Captain Bryant Dogger. Still doing uh twenty-eight. Alright, let's uh you know what? Let's run the pictures first. Then we can input them. Scanning video disc. Wait, what? One enhanceable image found. Adding ah, there enhanceable we go. photographs to Kaya database. Tyrell Grav Test Lab. Alright. So, let's see what we can see on him. Ooh, that's a good picture. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Give me a hard copy of that. I wonder what these, uh... Jewelry pieces have to do with anything. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Give me a hard copy of that. Man, I practically didn't even have to go up there. I'm just getting it all from the picture. Let's see. I wonder if I can get anything off this pup. Oh, sure enough. Is it going to seriously zoom in on? <laughs> the dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? Give me I, a hard copy of that. I love the Esper technology. I wish it existed in real life. How many photos would you guys love to be able to just do what we're doing right now? Just zoom in and around as much as we wanted. No? I don't know what I really want to get too close and personal with this guy on. Nothing. I'm not using any uh, like walkthroughs or anything, so I'm probably gonna miss something. 
Hopefully that won't cause you to freak out on me. But it makes for a more fun playthrough for me. Whoops, I don't want to go there. Stop, stop. Ooh, look at the flooring. All right, let's zoom back out. Whoops. All right, we've got the dog. Uh, what's this over here? Whoa, whoa. Oh, it's explosive. Do we get to see his weird wiener thumb? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's got a normal thumb here. A bomb. Well, Give me a hard copy of that. Semi-normal. It's a very unusual looking bomb. I think that's it. Let's upload what Uploading we got. Personal clue database. I'm doing that right now. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Thank you. Did it add anything? Mm, no. Alright, let's leave. Uh, and see if he's got anything new to say. You keeping busy, pal? Pal. Nah, the place has been pretty quiet the last couple of days. He also sort of sounds like uh, Tom Servo. We get Servo. a new weapons shipment. Yeah, Guzza requisitioned a couple of cases for the assault teams. Let me guess. He's planning on taking out a small city. Lieutenant's <laughs> a big believer in overkill. Guzza. He is not a subtle fellow. Roof. Laboratory. I don't know if we'll be able to talk to the guy in the lab anymore. Yeah, he's gone. So he disappears after a while, and that's you. From what I can tell, I think that's it. He's. I don't think we'll be able to see him again. Let's. Ground floor lockup. Let's go to lockup. I think if I remember correctly, yeah. Here's that Gregorian guy. Are they letting me out? I'm not the one who makes that decision. I suppose it's my turn to bear the cross for the cause. Oh, you bleeding heart, my friend. You're Spencer Gregorian, right? No. I really think my lawyer should be here. I got some more questions for you. Tell me about your protest at Tyrell's plant. I already told that other detective everything. Yep. Under duress. But she'll stomp on your balls I and I won't. I want to know about the people who were there. The Rastafarian and the Asian guy with the sunglasses. I don't know them. Asian guy with Were the they sunglasses. together? They seemed to be. I saw them talking. Before or after the explosion? Before. I didn't see them at all after. That's all I know, I swear. I wouldn't even know where to find explosives. I, I'm not a violent man. Of course you aren't. You just want to let replicants walk the streets. They're not killers, <laughs> detective. They're innocents. They just want to live a decent, productive life like you or me. It's that simple, huh? It is. He, that one, that Rasta guy just productively exploded the fat guy all over that place. I got some more questions for you. A lot of people involved in your cause, Spencer? Yes, sir, we're growing fast. As more and more people realize that replicants have cognitive and emotional legitimacy, the citizens against replicant slavery will spearhead the movement towards... Save the pitch for someone who gives a shit. Whoa! We're peaceful people, Jesus. detective. We live by a code that men like you could never understand. Try me. Two centuries ago, humans were held in slavery. Brave souls formed an underground railroad. So, you help replicants escape the city. I'm talking figuratively, Detective. Sure you are. Sure. We're not children, Detective. We have resources. The world is changing. People are waking up to the injustices perpetrated by a sick society that you have helped. A lot of them will wake up dead if reps are allowed to run amok on Terra, jerk. <laughs> McCoy, you are... A delight. Uh, let's void come. I'm gonna give you a little test. The other detective. She already tested me earlier today. Uh-huh. Look, I gotta check out the Tell equipment. Tell me about you're the only stiff around. Your mother. I object to this treatment. 
If you'll just call my lawyer, he'll take care. Your lawyer would tell you I got the authority to VK the mayor if I want. <laughs> and he'd have to smile and nod and kiss my butt until I cleared him. So sit down. <laughs> this test is going to get weird. Alright, I don't know what I'm doing here. Human reaction gauge. Replicant reaction gauge. What do these do? Uh oh. Okay. What does this thing do? I always wondered what this thing does. Adjust the calibration. Is that what you're supposed to do? Hmm. Wait a minute here. Reaction time is a factor in this, ah, so please pay attention. <laughs> this is Where so do you cool. live? Third sector, uptown. Nice neighborhood? Very. Is this going to take long? Just keep your pants on, Spencer. What do you do for a living? I teach political science. Ask low intensity. Ask medium intensity. Ask high intensity. What's your name? Spencer Gregorian. I really think my lawyer should be here. Calm Just down. Just keep your pants on, Spencer. Alright, I guess it's calibrated. Let's start with a low. Are you taking any drugs? No. How does your machine work? Is it a lie detector? Not exactly. Your verbal responses aren't what's important. Why? You got something to hide, Spencer? Absolutely not. Hmm. You're crying. Why is that? Crying? It's nothing to be ashamed of. I might cry for any number of reasons. I'll bet. Let's try a medium. You have a little boy. He shows you his butterfly collection, plus the killing jar. I take him to a psychiatrist. I take him to the doctor. Alright, let's try another medium. You're seven years old. You managed to steal several marshmallows from the kitchen and sneak them back to your bedroom. You're caught, and your father spanks you. Well, it sounds like I deserved it. But my father didn't believe in corporal punishment. Go for you see high. an oversized book with pictures of exotic animals on the cover. The title is Big Game Hunting in Zaire. And let me guess, pictures of dead animals inside. Curious, you flip it open. There's a picture of a man standing with his foot on a dead cape buffalo. You find yourself fascinated. You keep paging through it, seeing picture after picture of animals laid to waste, each more gruesome than the last. These questions are becoming predictable, detective. Well, he seems to be poke coming out as a human. Let's give him one more high intensity. You're in a desert, walking along in the sand, when all of a sudden you look down and see a tortoise. It's crawling towards you. You reach down and flip the tortoise, the tortoise on its back. I wouldn't do that. The tortoise lays on its back, its belly baking in the hot sun. What do you mean I ain't helping? its legs, trying to turn itself over. But it can't. Not without your help. But you're, not, but you're not helping. Why is that? You bastard. They're just... I want to see my attorney. Yeah, I think now. he's human. All right, all right. When I'm done. Maybe. I think he's human. Test terminated. You keeping busy, pal? Please leave me alone. My migraine's acting up. All right, well, I got to end the video. 15-minute uh, time limit is so frustrating. I would have loved to have poked around on the VK with him some more. You keeping busy, pal? Please leave me alone. Right, but if, uh, until then, our next episode, where we will uh, head down to Animoid Row, trying to beat Crystal Steel to the punch. So thanks for watching, guys, and be excellent to each other.